Hi there. So this is going to be a tutorial on what we call the hip hinge. And it's one of the key movements we need to learn uh, in the class in order to uh, do the movements safely, especially when we're lifting weights. And also how to be mindful about doing this movement uh, in our daily lives. So the first thing that would be helpful to do is to identify, if we're calling it a hip hinge, well, where are the hips? So if I was to say, place your hands on your hips, there's almost a reflexive um, movement of bringing the hands actually to the waist, not the hips. Now, this can be a problem because if I was to say, hinge from your hips, thinking it's at the waist, what that tends to do is cause you to round into the uh, back as you're bending forward. And this is the exact movement we want to avoid doing, especially if it's weighted, to avoid putting excessive force, especially on the front of our vertebrae. So let's identify where the hips are before we even go into the hinge. So we just drop our hands down about six inches from the waist and uh, a really good cue is to take your hands pinky side into the body and just place them where your groins are. So slightly angled down with the thumbs pointed up. Now I'm going to come sideways so you can see me here. My feet are hip width apart and what I'm going to do to do the hip hinge is to stick my seat back, knees slightly bent and to bring, feel my torso come over the hands. And you can see my spine is in a much different position now. And it's neutral and much safer for forward bending movements. So that's the hip hinge. So one way to cue yourself to make sure that all the curvatures in your spine are in neutral is to uh, take something like a broom handle or if you have a dowel that's about torso length or a little bit greater, a little bit longer, doesn't matter. Um, and uh, use that as a cue uh, for coming into the hip hinge. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna start this movement by taking the pole into my uh, left hand and I'm gonna reach my right arm out beside it with the thumb pointed up. And then I'm gonna point my right thumb down and just flex my right wrist slightly. So uh, my palm's facing towards the camera here. And I'm just gonna take it over to the pole and gently wrap my fingers around the pole with my thumb still pointed down. Here I wanna bend my elbow slightly and then take the pole to the opposite shoulder and then up and around behind the head. So again, I'm gonna turn sideways to the camera now so you can see this. So I'm still clasping the pole behind the head and I'm, I'm gonna actually move a little up now so that the top of the handle uh, is behind the head. And then I'm gonna take my left arm around and I'm gonna gently place it on top of the pole so that I am feeling the pole now connecting to the, the back of my pelvis in between my shoulder blades and uh, back behind the head. Now, this is a great cue because if I think I'm coming forward into the hip hinge, but do you see how the pole is moving away from my pelvis? What that means is I'm excessively rounding into my back, particularly my upper back. So I want to try to keep the three points of contact as I reach my seat back and hinge at the hips. So you can see how that looks a lot different. Now, one thing I will mention uh, is if you do have what's called a kyphosis or an excessive rounding into the upper back, it actually may be difficult to bring the head back to touch the pole uh, without lifting the chin. Now, this is not something we want to do. So uh, what I would do is try to keep the points of contact with the pelvis 
and in between the shoulder blades and then just gently draw the sides of the throat back that, that the top of the head does not have to touch the pole. And then try to do your hip hinge again, uh, thinking about just trying to keep that pole as close to the head as is comfortable without excessively lifting your chin. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to fire off an email or ask a question in the Facebook group. Okay, bye for now.